The exposed expanded plastic material is used to construct a wide range of products out in the field. And at the current time, the standard for the installation of sprinkler systems doesn't provide any guidance or requirements related to the protection of exposed expanded plastics stored in racks. So um, recognizing this gap that exists in NFPA 13, which is a standard for the installation of sprinkler systems, the Fire Protection Research Foundation uh, worked with key stakeholders within the fire protection community to develop a research plan to generate some data. And the intent here was to submit that data to the NFPA Technical Committee for their consideration in developing sprinkler system design criteria for these exposed expanded plastics placed in racks. So that was the goal of the program. Yeah, it was a series, we ran a total of seven tests as a part of this series. And the commodity that was used to evaluate uh, the ability of the sprinkler system to control this fire was polystyrene meat trays, expanded plastic stored on wood pallets. And it's a fire that grows very rapidly, releases a tremendous amount of energy in a very short period of time, and it's very difficult for a sprinkler system to control a fire of that nature. Yeah, the test that we ran on Saturday was a ceiling height uh, used for the sprinkler system of 40 feet with a 30 foot storage height. And this test was different than the other test in that the flue spaces between the commodities were open, they weren't blocked. We had simulated some blocked flue spaces to uh, simulate what might occur out in the field. And all the flue spaces for this one test was open and um, what we observed during the test is that the sprinkler system was very effective in uh, knocking down the fire and attacking the fire in such a manner that it didn't travel to the ends of the array, which can happen in these types of tests, as also it didn't travel across the aisle into the target array. A total of seven sprinklers operated during the test and uh, the performance of the sprinkler uh, was, was quite good considering the, the challenge of, uh, that we had with this fire. So at this point, uh, the data that's been generated is going to be uh, placed into a report. There's already a report covering the first six tests. This last test, will there'll be a report written for the Fire Protection Research Foundation. That data will be submitted to the NFPA technical committees for their consideration in developing sprinkler system design criteria for inclusion into NFPA 13, which doesn't have that criteria right now for exposed expanded plastics placed in racks.